Hello guys, my name is Budget, and welcome to another video. This one's not going to be as crazy edited. What I will say is, um, it's something a bit smaller and more niche. Uh, something I not really I do a lot. However, I want to do for uh, this video because I find it to be important, and I do think it's going to kind of change the gaming landscape when it comes out, either in a good way or a bad way. So um, let's talk about it. This is uh, a game from Scary Play. Okay, there's only two videos on the channel. One, it's really only one video because the other ones are short for the same thing. You may not recognize this name. The reason why this is so important is because these are the same guys under a different name that actually made the mimic. Okay, if you guys don't know the game, that's one of the most popular Roblox games of all time. Okay, and it was innovative for basically pushing out the idea of making more custom models that look very well done in Roblox. Um, you could argue other games did this as well, but I would, in my opinion, I would say the Mimic is the one that pushed it out and kind of proved that, yeah, Roblox Horror Games can be more than just little blocky yeah. figures, right? And it, it did great, and uh, I think it deserves all the recognition it got. However, um, that's kind of like been its main thing. Ever since then, though, it's been doing other projects that are just there, but it's not to the trophy child that game was. Now, um, this is uh, from the main creator himself, okay? He came out with this about three months ago. I watched the whole thing. I'll rewatch you guys because I think it's, it was just so good. It, like, it was really good. And, and I, 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 I want to explain. Let's, let's just watch it and you'll get what I'm saying. Come with me. Please don't copyright my ass, please. And you'll be. I guess I'm gonna love this. Now, from what I've seen, it has not come out yet, okay? Um, and obviously it's past August, it's like October, so I haven't seen yet, maybe it's already out. Um, but, uh, it is awesome what I saw there. Um, so let's go over really quick. First off, this thing has over half a million views, okay? Not bad, and a lot of people are really, really interested into it, okay? So he says, just to clear things up with everyone, this game does not play anything like the Mimic, even though it was promoted in the server. It'll be its own game with huge randomizations and a non-linear style gameplay with roguelite aspects. Stay tuned and join our server for more news. Okay, from what I've seen, um, I can't prove it, but it comes off more as you jump into the game, right? And it is like a poppy playtime mixed in with like SCP Containment Breach, okay? So you go into a game every time trying to like get out, but there's going to be randomized monsters that come in, which I love. Especially since it's going to be the Mimic style because it's, it's, it's terrifying. So you're going to have to do these different goals, different quests to get it out every single time. And um, maybe there is a linear story, but at the same time, though, it's going to be scattered because it just said here, um, non-linear style gameplay. So um, th there's probably still going to be lore, obviously, with all these games. Um, but it is it is very interesting. Like, for example, here, with I'm just going to kind of replay it with like the volume a bit lower. Like, as you can tell, like, see? One enemy, another enemy. I mean, dude, your head gets popped. Like, so there must be just completely different things that spawn in it like a lot of them right and i think i didn't want to show them all off because i'm hoping i'm hoping there's like dozens upon dozens in this so that that you quite literally never know what's going to happen okay and i think that's great um clearly people are excited for this i don't know why they held off probably to fix some bugs like these guys when they make games on roblox it's it's clean it is clean like it's like doors type clean for me so i very much enjoy this and it is something that's going to be kind of new Especially with the polish. So, um, I'm very happy about that. The other thing I really want to bring up is... So, other than the fact that you can see your Roblox characters... Like, okay, let's go to here. Like, okay, clearly there's a Roblox character. That's where it looks like Roblox. But if I did not show you this... If I just showed you the rest of the game. So, let's go from, like... Like, let's say this scene. Okay, so this is a first-person scene of it. Okay? Dude. Oh, I mean, maybe that's your arm. But... 
Like, this does not seem like Roblox to me. Like, this... If if I didn't tell you this is Roblox, I don't think people would guess. It looks like its own game. It looks that good. It really does. And that's amazing. The fact that you're able to get all these models off, the fact that it was able to feel this way, I, I am excited for this. And I think when it comes out, it's going to further escalate that bar that was pushed the first time with the Mimic. Um, even though Mimic's not my favorite game, I can at least recognize heavily the influence that it had on the Roblox horror game market, okay? Um, and I feel like a lot of people need to, as well. This game, when it comes out, either it's going to be loved or hated, or... Uh, we'll see. I think I think it's either going to be really good or it's going to flop. But, regardless, I am so excited to see what happens. Because, like, this has been my mind for, like, ever after seeing it. Because I, I really, really, really want this to come out. And see if the audience sees it the same way I do. Because there's some other games that have gone big and kind of like do the same thing, but it just doesn't execute as strongly. Um, and I've seen a lot of good games as well that just like, you know, are hidden because they're small. But this team obviously has a following. I mean, look, they already have 10k subs. And like, they, this isn't like really... This isn't the main Mimic channel. You know, I mean, this isn't their main... This, this is a whole other channel they made just for this game, right? So, the fact that it has this, that's many views, it's going to do great. I think it's going to do great, and I'm excited for it. Um, finally, an awesome Roblox game that isn't just pitch black the entire time with the same concept. Whoever modeled everything deserves an award. The, the builds are truly insane, which I agree. That's probably, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you have to admit um, that despite the reputation of uh, Roblox being a kid's game, Roblox allows for great games like these to be made by smaller devs. I wish I could find more heavily developed games like this on the platform. Good work. Exactly. And that's just it. Like, it's changing the market. Don't get me wrong, again, like, Roblox is a very, it's a giant game platform, okay? I don't see it anymore as just a kid's, like, game. Because it's not just, like, a few things that are, like, kid-like. It's a bunch of different games using a game engine, and they throw it out and barf it and see what catches light, right? I remember when people get mad when people do, like, videos on uh, Minecraft and it's more mature. Like, does anybody remember when Markiplier did stuff and everyone was mad about that? That, it kind of reminds me of that, but this is going to be good. It's going to be really good. Heck, exploding confetti immediately reminded me of Playground. <laughs> this thing is about to get a whole fandom out here for it. Yeah, it's going to be great. This game's going to be awesome. So, uh, let's let's keep going. I'm, I'm just going to subscribe for the hell of it. Let's uh, go here. Looks clean for the running. Oh my gosh. That's a cool death. Oh my gosh. I'm glad we watched that. That also adds quite a bit. It looks clean. Like, everything with the Mimic has always been clean, but just the, the fact that you're looking at this, and again, it's clean, like, and everyone's saying it's going, yeah, everyone knows it's going to do well. It's literally what I said earlier. Let's hope it doesn't die at launch, because I think if this does survive it, the fandoms, I'm sorry, nobody cares. Every game's going to have that once it blows up, especially when it has, like, more mascot horror elements. But this, what I'm hoping, is that it's going to open up more doors, and it's going to show off what horror in this platform can do. Um, especially since, again, it's going to be from a developer that is rather larger. So, um, that's all I want to say. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I don't think it's out yet. When it does come out, I, you, you bet I'm going to play it. Um, but I have a lot of respect for this developer. Um, I have a lot of respect for the team, especially since I know what it takes for them to be able to do this. And the fact that they already came this far with their initial game and still trying to push the boundaries, in my opinion, it's awesome. Okay. Um. I have seen a few people say in the comments, which I, I didn't read earlier uh, from the last video, that you know it could be a cash grab and whatnot because you know it's mascot horror. Um, I don't believe that, I, and I, I don't think that from these people because you can see the effort that's been put in. Um, I have seen cash grabs from people. You can kind of tell and you can feel in your soul, but just just because something's mascot mascot horror doesn't mean it's going to be that. And this, it's something completely different. It is completely different, and I really, really, really hope that it shines. So. Um, keep this on your wish list, or what do you call it? Yeah, you're, uh, following the group right here in the link. Um, I'm excited. If it ever comes out, um, let me know, okay, because I want to play it. But, um, I'll let you know once I do as well. And, uh, we'll make some videos off it. So, um, love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Please subscribe, I need it. And, um, I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Subscribe yes. to Blue Digit. What? Do it now. Hello. You are a cow. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Blue Digit uh -huh. or else.